Hey YouTube, back again. Uh, this is going to be a rather lengthy video, I guess. Um, this is my coal train. I got four U30s on, on the point. Uh, I'm going to try making it up the, the climb. And I'm going to get to the yard of what I was working on in a minute. I just want to see if this is going to actually work first. Otherwise, this video will be short lived. It's going to be a lot of wheel slippage. The U thirties are by Atlas. They're non sound, as you can probably already hear. This is just straight DC. Going up through the wall. I'm gonna have to get ready to stop it because they're actually pretty, moving pretty good. I love these locomotives. These are by far the next locomotives I'm going to get the coders put in. They just look ugly. <laughs> I'm not a big GE fan, but I do. I do have a sender like a a like for ugly things, I guess. Okay, well, surprisingly, it made it with four locomotives. These Wally Walther's uh, coal cars are actually pretty heavy, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, eighteen coal cars, along with uh, Wally Ugly. Atlas train man caboose. Well, that's that. Now, for the real reason why I actually wanted to make this video, I've got something a little bit done. Uh, these are my two Walther's heavyweight passenger cars. I used these because they're a pain in the ass and they always uncouple and, well, never uncouple but always derail. And actually, everything's been going by pretty good. These are two Atlas turnouts I plan on putting in. This line will go through the wall, and this line will come down over onto this table. So those were the double main line splits. And this is where it comes together in the yard, where that gives you a better idea of what we're looking at here. So the trains will be able to split. You can run on both sides. As I got locomotives sitting here just uh, just for looks. These two uh, are Atlas GP40s with QSI sound decoders, which do not work on DC, as I just found out. This is a Athern Blue Box SD40-2, which my friend at Professional paint and decal, or detail, decal, I always get his name wrong, don't I? But he did the lift rings, the antenna, the sunshade, the all weather winter window, or all weather, yeah, all weather window hatch. He did a really good job on this one for being an Atherin. Can't really tell, it looks like a Broadway. Here we come back, and this is where the two main lines end up, which then they'll curve here and go across, along with the outside main line, sorry, 
here is going to join up with the climb or the grade, whatever you want to call it. All the turnouts are atlas. I use number eights here, number sixes here, and then I got four number fives here, here, and on the outsides. I use number fives just for a simple fact I bought the wrong turnouts and didn't realize that as soon as I started hacking them up. But otherwise those would have been number sixes also. Here we have my caboose track, which is probably longer than normal for the simple fact I have tons of cabooses. This is my rip track here. As we follow along. This line right here is going to be my cement company. I bought uh, Walter's Cornerstone uh, Medusa Cement. And I draw the outlines of the buildings, cut them out of the cardboard, and then I put the dimensions down just so that I can make sure. For the simple fact, one thing that's nice about my layout compared to other upper double deck layouts that you see. I have a ton enough room to build, have tall buildings. <coughs> and then this line back here, this is going to be for my diesel house, which I'll have a sanding tower here. I'm not sure if I'm going to have a refueling station. They might just be able to be getting them by truck for simple fact that that's what they do in downtown Milwaukee. I actually have pictures of that which is kind of interesting to see. Then this line here, this is my, what I call my mothball fleet full with uh, AS616's by Baldwin or by Stewart, whichever way you prefer. Uh, two RS3's, two RS1's, actually I think I got three RS1's and a custom paint SW1200 which I bought at a uh, a guy at a hobby shop for 20 bucks, which I'm going to rip out the drive shafts and just make it a dummy unit. But this is what I got so far. I'm liking it pretty, pretty good, actually. I think it looks kind of impressive. One thing that I am pretty impressed with also. Let me get a pass your car here once. We'll use my crap ones here. Helps to go down the right side, hey? Let's make sure all my turnouts are thrown right. Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna see I'm kinda winging this, which I don't like doing. I think pretty much, well, that was interesting, goes off without a hitch here, which is kind of cool, I'm surprised that these passenger cars can make it through this radius, it's pretty sharp, but this is what I got, let me know what you guys think, there's an overview, And that's about it. If you guys have any questions, any pointers, or anything that you don't like or that you like, just leave me a line. I'm pretty quick at answering back. And if I don't know the answer, I'll find the answer. Alright, thank you very much for looking and uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year and all that jazz. And hopefully the next time that I make a video, it's going to be all DCC where I can run some stuff. Alright, take care.